All right, I have an obsession with homemade ice cream this year. I don't know what it is. I bought an ice cream maker and I'm just like, every recipe I can think of, I wanna make. So today we're doing vanilla ice cream, but not just vanilla ice cream. We're putting the waffle cone inside the ice cream. So let's get started. First thing you need, if you are using an ice cream maker, you're gonna to wanna to freeze the base to the manufacturer's directions. Now for this recipe, we are going to combine one cup of heavy whipping cream in a saucepan. I've also got one cup of 2% milk. And of this sugar here, I'm gonna just pour in half. You just have to eyeball it here. And we're gonna get it on heat. Now I want this to bubble, and while it's heating up, I'm gonna deal with my vanilla beans. So I'm just gonna slice it in half. If you wanted to use just vanilla extract, that's totally doable. So I'm using the back of my knife, scraping out the seeds, I'm placing them in my cream sugar mixture, and just add in the pot as well, might as well. So that's heating up. Over here, I have four egg yolks. I'm gonna add the rest of my sugar to the egg yolks. We're gonna get that whisked up until it's pale and smooth. So we're dissolving all the sugar here. And just like that, my cream mixture is bubbling away. So it's time to combine. Now, the cream mixture is way too hot for the eggs right now. So we're gonna do something called tempering the eggs, where I'm gonna pour a little bit of this mixture in at a time while I whisk the eggs. And that just heats them up slowly, lets them come to temperature so they don't scramble. And then this mixture goes back in the saucepan. So we're gonna combine everything here. And I wanna make sure that the eggs are fully cooked and that we've got the right texture for our ice cream. So a good way to test that is to check on the temperature. I want this mixture to be from 165 Fahrenheit to 180 Fahrenheit. Now I'm gonna get it sieved out because I gotta get rid of that vanilla pot. So we'll get our bowl up here, place the sieve over top, and put our ice cream base through. Awesome, so simple as that, we have created a scratch made delicious ice cream base. I know what you're thinking. You're like, Julie, didn't you say waffle cone? Just you wait. I want the waffle cone to keep its kind of texture so it's not going in just yet. It'll go in later. But for now, this has to chill in the fridge. All right, our base is nice and chilled and I have brought my ice cream maker out for y'all to see. This is the base that I had to have in the freezer overnight and I get it into my machine. So for my ice cream maker, I put the blade in first. Some are different. And then I put the top on. Beautiful, okay, let's get it on. And we just wanna pour in our base. So for my maker, this is gonna hang out for about 25 to 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna crunch up the waffle cone pieces and put them in here. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, so our ice cream is just about done, and now I wanna get started on the waffle cone crunchies. So in this plastic bag, I'm adding three waffle cones. I'm gonna pop them in, get it closed, and crunch. Perfect, I want pretty sizable pieces, not like breadcrumbs. And just like that will work. All right, let's get our ice cream out of here. I'm gonna turn it off, get the lid off, get this blade out. And now I wanna transfer this soft ice cream into a Tupperware because I wanna freeze it till it's hard. Beautiful, that vanilla smells amazing. All right, now for our waffle cone crunchies. I'm gonna add in about half of these and then save some garnish. Fold in. Perfect, so this is ready to freeze overnight. Let's get the lid on, and I'll see you tomorrow. And that is how you make my homemade vanilla waffle cone ice cream. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I will see you next time.